Well, you, there you hear President Barack Obama referencing the, the work of his predecessor, George W. Bush. But at what point does blaming the other guy start to get a little old? For the answer to that, we turn to our political analyst, former Democratic campaign manager Susan Estrich and former GOP communications director Matt Makoviak. Good to have you both here. Susan, first of all, I mean, is, is it fair to continually blame the guy that came before? At some point, you don't you just have to pick up your, the, the problems yeah, and I deal with them? Do. Well, and I mean, you know, you can collect those quotes, and I, I know he has said those things, but the reality is, as I think Matt and we'd all agree, Barack Obama is going to be judged by how he deals with the problems. The fact that he inherited them is presumably one of the reasons we elected him. So, so the challenge for him, there, there's no blame game on this one. He either moves this ball forward and gives America a sense that we're moving out of this this very difficult situation, or the Republicans will blame them for it, and frankly, so will the voters. Matt, what's your take on this? I think she's mostly right. I mean, look, Bush 43 inherited a recession from President Clinton. What we need to judge President Obama on is the decisions he makes and the results of those decisions. President Bush 43 uh, passed tax cuts, and we had a very shallow recession, one of the shallowest in history. Uh, because of the decisions he made at that time. What we've seen with Obama has been different, though. We've seen massive spending, the, the largest spending bill in history, a $787 billion stimulus bill, of which only $50 billion has been spent so far. Um, and so the, the economy seems to be worsening. We have 9.4% unemployment nationally. It's the largest in 25 years. So it is true that Obama inherited some problems. How he's dealt with them, though, uh, is going to be how he's judged. And, and to me, I think he's made a lot of the wrong decisions. All right. Well, listen, we have uh, another topic that we want to take up with both of you. We want to ask you about this ongoing fight that's going between uh, David Letterman and Governor Sarah Palin. We're going to do that after the break, so stay right where you are. We'll be back in just a moment. Trapped in Brazil, Congressman Smith and David Goldman on the international fight for his son's return. Plus, credit card chaos, what you need to know, only on Huckabee tonight. Thanks for calling Ditech. How may I help you? Well, we offer a lot of choices, but for your situation, I'd recommend refinancing into our low fixed rate. To get a historically low rate of 5 and 3 eighths percent from a lender that's part of the GMAC family, visit Ditech.com or call 1-800-DITECH-1 today. Okay, you're all set. There's lots of things that make Pearl Vision different, like no surprise costs at our registers. And now there's something else. Buy one, get one. Free eyeglasses or sunglasses with a complete pair purchase. Visit PearlVision.com. Wow, is this... 501 honey clusters? Yes. It's delicious. delicious, I know. But it can't have about half a day's worth of fiber? I assure you it does. I was expecting expect sawdust and cardboard? I know. I can only, only taste, taste the crunchy clusters, honey, and brown sugar. No, madam, I don't have ESP. Okay. We'll take a box. You probably already knew that. Fiber One. Cardboard No. Delicious, yes. I'll call you then. Bye. Devin? Cindy! It's been a long time. Yeah, I'll say. You've got the whole Verizon Wireless Network. <laughs> Mr. Fear of Commitment. That's weird. Well, they came with my pay-as-you-go plan, so I only pay for them when I use them. So you haven't changed at all? Nope. Goodbye long-term contracts. Hello, America's largest calling family. Get unlimited talk to more people. Use zero minutes. Plus, get phones starting at just $19.99. Verizon Wireless. When can a towel become a tango? When can a t-shirt be a pacifier? When you add Ultra Downy with Renewing Scent Pearls, you get three times longer lasting freshness, so you feel more connected, which can turn a sweater into your sanctuary. Downy, feel more, and get up to 33% more loads from a single bottle. It's the most traded market in the world, with over $3 trillion traded every day. It's open 24 hours a day, five days a week. It's the over-the-counter foreign exchange market at Forex.com. Trade the euro, yen, U.S. dollar, and other currencies. Go to Forex.com today, set up a free practice account, and try currency trading risk-free. Then when you're ready, just click and trade. Forex.com, online currency trading on your schedule at your fingertips. Go to Forex.com today. Today we're joined by Charles Gamarikian, the founder of Cambridge Paving Stones. What makes Cambridge Paving Stones superior to any other brand out there? Cambridge Paving Stones are made with Armortech. 
Without ArmorTech, the color will begin to fade within as little as six months. With ArmorTech, the same color that you chose when you first had it installed will look the same for years to come. Visit CambridgePavers.com. Cambridge paving stones with ArmorTech will always look like new. This is a Fox News alert. The White House has a statement on Iran's controversial election. Press Secretary Robert Gibbs says, quote, we were impressed by the vigorous debate and enthusiasm the election generated. We continue to monitor the entire situation closely, closely including reports of irregularities. Though, during the game, maybe you heard about it, maybe you saw it on one of the highlight reels. One awkward moment for Sarah Palin at the Yankee game. During the seventh inning, her daughter was knocked up by Alex Rodriguez. <laughs> David Letterman's comments have ignited a firestorm of debate with uh, even the National Organization of Women coming out in defense of Alaska Governor Sarah Palin. So is Letterman the GOP's new punching bag? For the answer to that, we turn back to our political analyst, former Democratic campaign manager Susan Estrich, and former GOP communications director Matt Mikowiak. Thank you both for joining us again. All right, Susan, look, I mean, I, I love to watch David Letterman. I've been watching him since he was on the morning show at NBC, but he sort of stepped in it this time, did he not? Sure, he's a comedian. They step in it all the time. He told a sexist um, joke. I mean, my God, I'm shocked. I've never heard such a thing on television before. You know, I mean, I obviously feel sorry for Sarah Palin's younger daughter, who was the one who was apparently with her at the Yankees game. But my advice to politicians, and, you know, Sarah Palin made a conscious decision, which she has every right to make, is if you don't want your kids to be in the public eye, draw a very clear line around them and say they're off limits. You know, Bristol Palin is out there selling abstinence. It's an invitation to ridicule. This is, you know, the way the game is played. I wish you'd take her kids and get them out of the public eye, frankly. Matt Mikowiak, this has sort of enraged a lot of conservatives. It has, and I think it's enraged a lot of people across the country. Uh, you know, it was a demeaning joke. Uh, whether it was made about a 14-year-old girl or an 18-year-old girl, it's still out of bounds. Um, but I think, you know, we need, to, we need to, be, to be in a position where we can criticize people who make statements like this that are way outside the bounds. I was pleased that the National Organization for Women, which is traditionally a more liberal organization, did criticize David Letterman, as other groups have. Um, but look, Palin, Governor Palin has been the subject of ridicule on a scale unlike any politician we've seen in the last, really the last 10 years. Well, what about that, Susan? I mean, some people say that she really has taken it on the chin an awful lot. Is, oh. is it fair criticism to say that? You know, I've been friends with Hillary Clinton for years and sat there long before Sarah Palin was taking this step when people were talking about how she made you want to cross your legs and reminded you of your first ex-wife. And, I mean, I think the coverage of women back with Jerry Ferraro, right. I was there. You know, this is not new. And I welcome Republican outrage to see that women are treated fairly in politics. But La Last word here, Matt. I, we Palin. have just a few seconds left. Sure. Whether you take your kids with you to political events or not, kids, family need to be off limits. Uh, Barack Obama said that during the campaign and it should be true for Sarah Palin as well. All right, we'll leave it right there. Susan, good to see you. Matt, thanks for joining Thank us here you. in Thank studio. You. Well, plenty more to come. How seriously should the U.S. take North Korea's threat to weaponize all of its plutonium? We'll ask Congressman Elliot Engel with the House Foreign Affairs Committee. A number of states could be running out of money for unemployment assurance. What does that mean for 14 million Americans out of a job? And an American charged in a brutal murder in Italy. Amanda Knox's trial continues today. We'll have a live report uh, right here. Uh, stay with us, everyone. You're watching America's News Headquarters. We're back in two short minutes.